My understanding is that there's two versions of the tech. Yep. And so why don't you tell us what it is? I surf them both. Okay. Um, it's just totally conditions dependent. Yeah. Both boards have an APS core mm -hmm. uh, and they both have the same stringer system in, a, in them from a directional standpoint. So there's an A-beam on one side, a V-beam on the other and a T-stringer down the deck. So like, essentially oh, like really? this on opposite sides. The deck is the V and okay, the okay. bottom is the A. Okay, okay. And okay. then through the middle, there's a T-stringer. Okay, okay. And uh, the cool thing about the T-stringer is they, they'll actually like cut a hole in the EPS or yeah, I saw a that. slit uh -huh. and they'll tuck, when they laminate the, the, the carbon fiber strip, they'll actually poke it down in yeah. there. So they so can vary. Falls, falls down. Yeah, it creates like the fiberglass or the carbon yeah. fiber or fiberglass goes a like proper that. proper iodine. Yeah, exactly. And it, uh, it yeah. will vary in depth depending on where, what part of the board oh. or even depending on what model too. Yeah, so yeah, cool, how cool. much flex we want it to have. Um, so yeah, we can really sort of adjust the board to, to be specific to what it's designed for. And that's Just, a uni? Unidirectional uh, so, color? Okay, so where the Thunderbolt Red and Thunderbolt Black vary oh, okay. is a Thunderbolt Black has a carbon external lamination. Okay. So the flex structure inside is fiberglass. We okay. use e-glass. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't want to have a carbon. Carbon in. and carbon. Exactly. It gets a too bit much. too stiff. Oh. Tried it. Uh -huh. It works, but it is oh. very, very stiff. Okay, so this one is what? This exact one? Yeah, uh, yeah, so this is my HIHP. It's the board I won both of my World Longboard titles on. Oh, okay. um, it's, yeah, it's my most performance board. And back when I won my world titles, it was, we were hoping to go to events where the waves were better. And yeah. I really was enjoying riding longboards and still do, obviously, yeah. when the waves are pumping um yeah. so this is my most gunny sort of performance board oh, okay. um a bit more oh is in. this kind of fin setup yeah i just depending on what the surf's like i actually a lot of the times when i pull out the hihp it's usually quite hollow yeah so i'll whip the quads in quads, yeah, 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 yeah which good. is just obviously super fast but you know i think but. like a wave like lowers or mm. somewhere where you just Cut back to the pocket a lot more, a lot more pocket. And I think nose riding too, especially mm -hmm. if you're putting the tail in the whitewash, a two plus one's yep. better yep. than a quad. Yep. But if you're up and planing and going super fast, the quads will hold no problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you're knifing late drops and carve, stuff. like big, big yeah. long carves, yep. Yep, yep, and quads for sure. Okay, and so the, te the tech of this is what? This is the Thunderbolt Black. So the carbon fiber lamination with the fiberglass Core. internal okay. st structure, yep. Okay. Um, and if I'm riding my HIHP, usually it's bigger waves uh -huh. and I'll, more often than not, I'll be on the carbon. Yeah. Um, it just has a really good rebound off the lip, like a real instant sort of projection. Yep. Yep. And obviously the strength to weight ratio is there. speed right out of it. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And it's just, I, I kind of blew me away. Like when I first rode the carbons, just, I always thought that a stiff board was a dead board. And these mm. kind of totally opened my mind. I totally like, found the same thing. Not, not no, the case. No. So love this construction. Cool. Um, it's yeah, super fun. And, and obviously so the the opposite one, if the Xeon, which is the Thunderbolt Red. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, that has the fiberglass external lamination, mm -hmm. but the internal structure we use the same six ounce carbon fiber AV and the T. Okay. So it's the opposite. So we get that spring from the internal. Yeah, yeah. Rather than the, okay. the external. And, but that one's bending more? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yep. yeah. It doesn't take nearly as much load, load or it, yeah. not much push in the wave to get that projection. Do you find that, that you switch your fins more differently on either one of them? Or do you just... Uh, no, I pretty much run the same so, fins yeah, yeah. a lot depending. of the time. Yeah, I just... For me, if I'm coming through, depending on like smaller waves to bigger waves, a lot of the time I'll be on my HI4 if it's sort of this size waves. And I'll be on the Xeon because I want that flex and that spring to you yeah, know, yeah. try and really make the most of it. And now once it gets to here and hollow or yeah, punchy, boom. then I start to switch over to yeah. these, you know, so uh, the carbon fiber in this model, but works perfect for the, the length. Yeah, of the well, board. so that's the thing with longboards is what people aren't understanding is you got so much length and the thickness isn't proportionate to the length. Nope. So you got a six, six step up yep. or a little whatever. Yep. And, and it's, you know, max three inches thick. Yeah. That's a huge difference over six six versus three inches thick over totally. nine feet. Yeah. So, and the the wah 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 pop totally. snapping that happens yeah. from that is nuts. So, just so much surface area for the wave to get a hold of it. And yeah. Do its thing. Yeah, but. it's just cool because I can see 
as a someone who makes boards, what these little cool little lines are. Yeah, where they that's lap. Killer shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Yeah, there's nothing on our boards. Like everything's functional yeah. for a reason. Yeah, like yeah. we don't. I don't put anything on my boards yeah. that's not serving a purpose. Yeah, like. Yeah. The brush, the microcell hot coat. Yeah, yeah. That light. saves like 300 grams of weight. Yeah, easy. And it's yeah. also the secondary function for us is it's lightening the color of it. And gonna make your lines really flat yep. you, when you block it out. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sanding it. Yep. Yeah. And the um, the other cool thing that I like is the uh, the combination of materials in different different spots. So we have like obviously back here yeah, we that? we take the carbon's actually cut out. So it's a flex tail. So really? that's only fiberglass under here. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the, the, the tail of the board can twist. A little more bent. Yep. So just when you're loading it up, obviously that tail can... Seriously, that's nuts. Yeah. Cool. We don't really make much of a song and dance about the flex tail. But yeah. I obviously have had plenty of carbons without it. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. Really? Oh, yeah. Huge. Like, ah, big time. That's cool. So for me, it's funny you say earlier you're talking about riding big waves in this yeah and i'd i'd surf totos on a longboard yeah my yeah. regular longboard and it was totally. always i mean i was i was like s turning down the the mm -hmm. face before it, it even broke and everyone's like on their guns like going straight and totally. then barely tipping them over to try to make it to the shoulder that's that's probably one of the the best things i've always loved about longboarding yeah. is that you can take a board like this and i literally competed on world events in the mediterranean when it was this yeah. big on this exact model yep and then you know, cop a twelve foot swell at Bells, and you swap out your fins. Yeah, yeah. and it just, it's still the best board. So it's just mm -hmm. like yeah. a one board quiver that you're never not going to have fun. Yeah, yeah. But I think you know, especially for a performance longboard, the strength. Like I love obviously traditional longboarding as well. Yeah. And but to be able to push that and try and smoothly transition up yeah, and down the board what... in overhead waves yeah so mixing the traditional and mixing yeah, the new what's really it going to be what's like next yeah what's... but i mean i think also like you said once you get a performance longboard in overhead waves yeah they had so loose and easy yeah. to ride and they fit and it's really when they come yeah. into their own i agree and you just get that length of turn like the best feeling cutbacks i've done in my life are on a rail are yeah. on a rail and they've all been on longer boards yeah yeah like these boards like even though i'm not you know obviously the criteria is with wsl and stuff's very different now and moving just, all the time. Yeah, and moving all the time. And it's good. It's a good thing. But these boards are boards I'm still like, there's days where I'm just like, oh my God, that's the only board I want to ride. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's still such a good functional yeah, surfboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if I was going to travel the world or pack up my van and take off for six months, it would be a, a lot more of this stuff yeah. than, than anything else, you know, just because you know it's going to work in mm -hmm. such a range. All, yeah, such a range. So. You could just go for a paddle if you didn't. Yeah. This is for your GoPro? Yeah, so this is, like no, yeah. Obviously, I've got it here on my honeymoon in Hawaii, but it's the same board I took down to for the stab kings of POV. Trip. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Rye towed me on that little right slab, and yeah, 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 yeah. This thing got ejected into space on on one. <laughs> it lasted. This exact one. Yeah, it handled. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still with that's, me. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. So the reason why I took this out when I was uh, down in was I was super confident in it. I knew what I was going to do. I hadn't towed in years. And I know it's a lot of surfboard, but so you towed in with this. Yeah, I towed oh, yeah, in on this yeah, board. Yeah. Uh, no leg rope. I <laughs> yeah. borrowed Michaela's little padded vest, <laughs> and uh, just so I knew if, when I ate it, I was going up at some point sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's nice having a leg rope for that sometimes, you know. But but yeah, I, I guess for me it was just confidence. I knew I wasn't going to slide out or whatever. Just that length of rail and predictability. Predictability. Yeah, I, I really really enjoy riding a longboard in good hollow waves. And for me, it's super fun. Yeah. So for me, um, I was, uh, I made the final twice in a pro contest nice. in longboard. And uh, mostly because I really, really, really suck at contests. <laughs> but, um, okay. but also because I just wasn't as good as everybody else. But <laughs> for me, with no matter what board I'm riding, the, the better the board can get mm -hmm. the easier it is for me to look good yeah and so uh so it's really important for, that's why technology has been something i really <laughs> hold on to <laughs> trying to get better yeah. but um because it's it's the it's the arrow not the indian uh but so on for you though like if you're it, you're obviously super talented and good and already dialed on the whole pu and everything so why like when you make the switch over to super high tech yeah 
like, I mean, what was it that these feel like that made you go, oh, bing, it's on? For me, it was, to be honest, like Bill and I had pushed it so far with our PUs and direct. Bill's your shaper. Bill told us, yeah. yeah okay. Like, it's, you know, he, phenomenal guy, like yep. really good surfer. Yeah. Like shaping's insane, like so accurate and he's, you know, he's yep. done for 50 years. Like, yeah, he's wow. insane. Cool. But he, um, he was always just so big on the on the feel and, and all that stuff as well. Like whenever we get blanks, you go, ah, oh, no, this blank's no good. Yeah, like yeah. when he's shaping, he's already like put it in my this head. Is, this is going to be a dud. <laughs> like I'm like, far out. Like, yeah. come on. Like, yeah. So, you know, the, for me, it was a consistency thing. Yeah. Mm. Was was good. Yeah, also, you couldn't the find an appeal because of the blank variation. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we obviously that's when we were playing with a way more direct LAM EPSs yeah, yeah, yeah. than yeah. PUs toward the end of my. Same thing with me. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just the consistency. Um, and then okay, so once you get to consistency, you're like all right, super thin. We only use an eighth inch like single wood stringers, no mm -hmm. pliers, yeah, nothing. Yep. yep. Just the best flex. Yep. And all that, but and then when you glass them to the weight you want them, yeah. The next thing that would these gave me the biggest level up was the confidence that they weren't going to break. Yeah. So my direct lamb epoxies, you know, if I hit hit the lip wrong and caught the nose on the way down, yeah. I was like, oh, toast, gone, yep. or pull into one, like, yeah. no, nah, yep. done. Yeah. Now I can like travel with just like Come two boards. Not to say these are unbreakable, but man, yeah. I'm like. The Where, whereas like the beaches at home when they get four to six foot, I was breaking two a, two a surf. Yeah. Now I'm lucky to break two a year, yeah, if yeah, that. Yeah, you know, wow, like, wow, wow. Um, So It's key. It's key, yeah. It's like, you just to be able to, all of a sudden I'm like, okay, there's a good section coming at me. I'm just go, I'm go, hitting oh, it. Yeah, I don't even yeah. think about it, yeah. you know? So I think my surfing stepped up because I had that confidence to not be scared of looking after my equipment. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. and again, it wasn't, we never set out to build unbreakable boards and that's not what these are. But just by design. But so that's it. the whole thing, though. Like, if you do a good process, good yep. engineering, yep. it's they go hand in hand. Yes, exactly. And that's so, what people don't understand. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and just being, just that consistency is there with with Thunderbolt. So, you know, a lot of the times now, I'm fortunate, I can just sort of you know land in Europe or land in the Come, states yeah. and grab one from boards. the guys there yeah, and yeah. there's it's the same as the one i've been riding at home it's huge it's so good like yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's only getting harder especially longboards traveling oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah and stuff so yeah there's a lot of good points